This right here is a Coda subtable. It's easily one of the most powerful features that Coda has and one of the quickest way to make your documents feel like apps. I'm gonna show you in just three minutes how you can set these up and start using them today. So here I have a basic project and task management app on Coded. And it's so nice to be able to hold our relations here because if we wanna have these different projects and see there's tasks, we can use things like this filter here and see just our product launch campaign tasks, for example, right? But I'm gonna show you a much better way to relate your tasks to projects or really any two tables with something called Coda sub tables. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set that up. What you're gonna do first is you need to make sure that you have a relation type column. So relation type columns are indicated by this icon right here. And you'll see that it's a column type relation. Make sure that it's related to, well, the table you want it to relate it to. So in this case, tasks are related to projects. Once you do that, you have an option within your column options that is to create a linked relation. This is really important and really powerful for a lot of reasons, but in order to create subtables, we're going to select create column. What that's gonna do is create a column in your projects table that holds the task for each and every um, task associated with this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide that now. Uh, something really fun that we can do with that relation now too is just do simple things like this, total tasks. You can then open that up and just say um, tasks dot count, right? Like count the associated tasks with each one of these projects. And let's say I was to go and change this to, hey, this is actually related to, you know, two projects, the market research. Now I see that market research goes up to six, so that updates in real time, really nice. But how this is even more helpful is with our things called subtables. So for example, let's say I wanna open up market research for a new product and see my project brief. A subtable is gonna actually hold all of your tasks right here within this card. And how we're gonna do that is when you're in this view, this is called the modal or the detail view. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to these three dots up here, you're gonna edit your layout and ensure that your tasks is showing. So right now my tasks are hidden. Um, and once I do that, it's gonna create this here as a table. Sometimes yours may not look like this and it may actually look like this instead. Um, so if it looks like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to this drop down up ahead and you're gonna say, hey, display as a table. Okay, so now I can come in here, right? And I can adjust this just like any normal coded table. I can adjust this, I can put, um, conditional formats on it to make it just a little a little bit better, right? I can hide certain columns as I want, or I can even show these as um, different things as well, such as display as a, a timeline, a chart, a calendar. I can show when all of these things are due and all of these things are coming up. So that is a Coda sub table, and it's an extremely powerful feature that allows you to kind of see your different uh, relations or your projects and your tasks together all in one space. Let me know what you think about it. Or if you have any other questions about Coda sub tables, let me know below.